Here in Arkansas, two people have died from COVID-19. 232 others have tested positive for the virus. Doctors at the Department of Health say testing capacity is accelerating nationwide, and that is why we are seeing an increase in the number of cases. Michael Aaron joining us now from home, and Michael, the increased capacity in Arkansas is thanks in large part to UAMS. Yeah, Laura, UAMS is using a third-party lab as is common, but it has also developed two in-house lab tests. But doctors at UAMS say they are limited by a global shortage of supplies and reagents. The capacity is a global issue. So every single laboratory director that I know is talking about how can we ramp up more tests with the limited supplies and reagents that we have globally. It's a question, an issue, Dr. Jennifer Hunt, Chair of Pathology at UAMS, faces daily. We started thinking about in-house testing about two weeks ago and ramped up really quickly when we realized that we would really need to have an in-house test available at UAMS for the state of Arkansas. The Genmark Eplex test is up and running at UAMS. It uses this machine and yields results within hours. Meanwhile, scientists are working round the clock to develop an in-house laboratory developed test. And this test is more manual, a little bit longer turnaround time to get results, but we have more capability and capacity to do more testing. It's expected to come online sometime this week. So how will these testing methods impact capacity? I wish I could tell you what the capacity is, but it changes on an hourly or at least daily time frame and that's because we're completely limited by the supplies that we get in from the manufacturer. Dr. Hunt says the availability of supplies and reagents simply depends on the day. So where we go from here is ramping up the capacity to manage as much testing as possible in the state of Arkansas. We would love to be able to handle all of the testing from the state within the state. Dr. Hunt says that UAMS is working around the clock to get those reagents that they need. So typically they're using that Genmark test, the one that is online for the sickest patients, the ones that are in the hospital or in ICU. Laura.